All right. So, welcome back to Kobe All Monsters. Offline, I did some research. My research indicates I was a little bit off about how things worked. And I could continue recruiting water monsters and breeding them into these octo reaches over and over again. But I'm going to do something that is faster and smarter, so I'm going to do that instead. I will explain the plan as we move along. But first, let's restart the timer in three, two, one. Okay. So, it's a little bit unintuitive, but when it says the requirement is plus five, what it actually means is the monster that results needs to actually be plus six. I know, right? So, here's what we're going to do. I am going to pull something out of my proverbial magician's hat. That is... Do you remember, a while ago I said I had to get a third Puppetor in order to get the second Puppetor that we actually needed? Well, as it turns out, that's a level 29 monster that's just sitting in our farm doing absolutely nothing. So, we're going to use it. There's the Dead Noble. So that Octa Reach is fine. Um, the Puppetor, the extra Puppetor, is under the sign of Venus. So we need something with the sign of Mars. That's why we have the Pheromoner with the sign of Venus. I'm going to get a Water Monster. It does not really matter which one. Um, as long as it is, 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 it is level like 11 or 12 or better, it will suit our purposes just fine. I'm going to breed that Water Monster with the Puppetor to get something that is plus 2. And then I'm going to breed that with the Octoreach that has the higher plus value, which I'm pretty sure is this one plus three, and hopefully from that I will be able to make an Octa Reach. That one combined with the first Octa Reach that we just put away will make an Octagon. Do we already have one of these? We already have one of those. Ah, whatever. I was hoping that we would get something new, but it's fine. Well, that's 200 gold down the drain. Let's get that fish rider. That looks cool to me. Okay, level 10, good. No? You're kidding. Third tries the charm, I guess. So, that fish rider and our puppetor should make something that is plus two. Should. Should. Plus two. Good. There's level. Their levels added up to fifty, and the cutoff is forty. So that should work. And 
and we are breeding it with a Martian, so we want this one to be female Venus. It only takes a couple of extra seconds. Does not lose you much time. Also does not lose you much gold. We just need to level this guy. Too close. Stop hustling. SMDH, this this fucking this fucking elephant is always on his hustle. Anyway, that was risky, obviously. Uh, getting experience in limbo where we're only barely beating the wild encounters, to be quite honest. Uh can go badly, but you also get a lot of bang for your buck. And also, if only one of my two actual monsters had lived, uh, there would be even more experience for the baby. So that wouldn't have been bad. What would have been bad is if both of them had died, because then I would have died. I guess I might have been able to have a chance to try and run, depending on what the circumstances were. But you get it. It's, it's not great. Okay. So we got a strong Octo Kid. We breed that Octo Kid with an Octo Reach to get an Octo Reach. Then, with the very strong Octo Reach, we, we level it up. We breed it with the, the original Octo Reach that we haven't touched since we made it. And hopefully, that will produce the Octagon, and I will not look like an absolute fool. Plus four. And the one that we currently have is Venus. I'm 90% sure, but of course I'm going to check. Also, I did not mark Octokid. There we go. Now I have. There we go. Little guy. Wait, hold on. Okay, yes. We need Mars. Good. So you see what I'm doing right now, right? Which is grabbing a monster, breeding it with something, and then popping back out to grab more monsters. We're going to be doing quite a bit of that. Alright, for the sake of argument, please. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm going to assume that that preview is off. 
for my own sanity's sake. Because... Because. Don't hurt the baby. Okay, Eerie Light is a very unhelpful ability to have on your side, and I'm glad that it used it, because, uh, not a threat to me. to come up with some nice conversation topics for when I'm doing this exact thing. That's a good conversation topic. I had notes for stuff that I wanted to talk about. But I don't feel like going into those just yet. It doesn't feel like the right time for that. What the? Pheromone? Oh, that's right. It was from a puppeteer. That's why it was pheromone. I was like, I don't want to get rid of pheromone. Who's getting rid of pheromone? Oh, okay, right. Normal. Fine. Okay. Please, Monster Man. Please, Mr. Monster Man. Give me the good news, please. So what exactly is the problem here? Octa reach plus five? Okay. All right, cool. That's fine. Sure. Okay. So this thing's level 15. That thing's level 13. I do math correctly. I can deduce that I don't actually need to do a second level of breeding. Instead, I can do an extra level of grinding. I'm going to get this thing to level 20, and then I'm going to get the other one to level 20, and that will be enough. So that will add another level of plus. And I am assuming that that will be faster than recruiting another monster and leveling up a new thing. Assuming. Therefore making an ass out of all of us. You can do something better than that, right? Call Tatsu. Call, call over our boy Tatsu. There we go. There's Tatsu. Eh, yeah, there we go. Good hit. Good hit, Tatsu. Here's our buddy. What does Tatsu look like? No idea. Got the killing blow. Put in a little bit more juice. 
experience juice, delicious experience juice that we get from killing clowns and dragons. Um, yeah. Interesting how the uh, Octoreach decided to heal my elephant after it had healed itself. Not the smartest play. Devised hustle. Please forget how to hustle. Please forget how to hustle forever. Okay, so that's one. Now we gotta grab the other one. At this level 20, we're in good shape. Hmm, something to talk about. My favorite monster in the game is Roboster. Specifically, the first form of Roboster. Because there is a second form, and we will probably be seeing it a very, very long time from now. But not much sooner. And you want to know why? Well, the answer to that is simple. It's because Roboster is just like Octagon, in that you unlock its second form when you breed it with something such that the uh, child is level 11 or greater, not level 6, like the Octagon. So it's even worse than this. Which is why we're not going to be doing it for a long time. This should be enough. I'm actually gonna have the baby help out a little bit. Oh, of course, too slow. Hey, don't hurt Tatsu. Jesus Christ. lightning. Okay, good. 10,000 experience. That should be enough. That was a close one. I actually had to think about that one for a little bit. Okay, so level 22 combined with level 20 should reduce, result in an additional plus 2. Meaning that instead of making an Octa Reach with plus 5, which is before I did the experience grinding, now it should produce one that is plus 6 and therefore is actually an Octogon, not an Octa Reach. Come on. 
game. Be reasonable here, please. I'm really trying. Look, I have a lot of viewers. I have so many viewers for this. This is such a popular series. You don't know how many people are going to be upset with me if this doesn't work this time. I'm at the end of my rope. Please, have mercy. I was very scared for a sec. Hold on, hold on. Wait, no, 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 no. That can't be it, that can't be it. Um, let's diagnose the problem here. You think you understand something. You think you understand something. Turns out you never understood a single, a single fucking thing. You absolute buffoon. You dingus. You loser. What is wrong with you? That being me, not you, the viewer. You're fine. You're cool, I guess. I need more ribs. So there's another way that this works, in theory. Which is, you have to start with a monster... That is the required plus, which in this case would be an Octoreach plus five, and then you can breed any Octoreach with it, and that will work. That is now what I'm going to assume <laughs> is what I have to do, since you and I both saw that that was a plus six, and the Monster Master does not lie. Like, it's not like the, the preview was wrong there when it said Octoreach. If I had followed through, it actually would have been an Octoreach, and I will bet my life on that. I'll bet someone else's life on that. Um, so plus four. But we need to get our other guy out. Okay. So... Lava Man is going to get us one more water monster. Another one. Another water monster. Which, when combined with this Octoreach plus four, by definition, will create an Octoreach plus five. And that will allow us to get the octagon that we want and have wanted for the past 20 minutes. We're having fun. We're having fun. I'm actually having fun. Um, this is like this is like Sideshow Bob stepping on all of those rakes. I'm Sideshow Bob, and this game is collectively all of the rakes. What? Hold on. I bamboozled myself. What the fuck? Oh, it has pheromone. Well, whatever. I'm I, mm, I'm I'm just flummoxed. I'm killing these because I want a different monster. It'll be easier to recruit, and it will actually count towards progress. Pumpoise and Walrus Man are the good options. If I really don't get any of those soon, I will switch tacks, but... Fine. I'm on a seahorse diet. When I seahorse, I recruit it. Ha-cha-cha. -cha. Or not. Okay. Ouch. Inhaled deeply. Okay.
pump voice. Well, you know what? We have gotten four monsters this stream, somehow. I think. Three or four. My brain is just kinda... Ugh. Yes, I know I've already had that monster. I've already had that monster like five times. Thanks. So, as before, this one was Mars. We need Mars again. can't be used. Got a problem with screaming? Also, let's see. Okay, all right. So here's what we know. Based on this empirical research that we, yes we, you and me, the viewer, have done, in order for it to work, one of the parents needs to have the specified plus value. Because, as you saw, um, the recently hatched plus 5 level 1 Octoreach was in the second position, and it still worked. So it doesn't have to be the base position monster, the first position monster. It could be either. Clearly. Um, oh, perfect. But now we know going forward what we have to do. First, you have to get a monster with a certain plus, and then breed it with one of its same species. That's what you do for Octoreaches to get Octagon, is what you do for Octagon to get King Squid, it's what you do with Slime to get King Slime, it's what you do with Spot Slimes to get Spot King, and it's what you do with Robostor to get Robostor 2. I'm pretty sure there's all the ones where it's plus level combining. Spoilers. You can all look up this stuff up. And actually, I think that gets to kind of a, a, a thing about this game, which is, this is a game that was very much played by kids who were like eight, like me. And the problem with kids who are eight, like me, when I was playing this game, is we're not very good at like, noticing things, describing things, or reporting things, analyzing things, understanding things, communicating things, doing things. Um, and also just like existing in general, not very good at that. So information collected by kids uh, tends to be inflated, exaggerated, and destroyed. Uh, mostly all at once. So there's a lot of urban legends all over the internet related to this game specifically. Uh, and sorting through those has actually been a little bit difficult in the course of preparing for this run. So I just checked the Chop Clown. Chop Clown is Mars. That means this monster, the Octagon that we're about to make, spoilers, it's an Octagon, needs to be Venus, because it's going with the Chop Clown. Octagon. Notice it's Octo with an O. O-C-T-O-G-O-N. Good. 
we did not forget our octagon. That would be so embarrassing. And you know what? For absolutely no reason at all. Just no reason at all. Let's give it that name. And now it's time to do what we do best. Go to Limbo and kill some trolls. We don't do that best, we do that competently. But it, we do do it, and that's the important thing. Octagon. Octagon. Jesus. Damn, it's kind of frustrating that the elephant always goes first because he should really go second. As in, letting his teammate buff him first. Uh, Guardian. Guardian is an interesting skill uh, because it allows you to intercept attacks that are coming to both of your teammates and it reduces their damage slightly. So, see that like that. So it's very useful, and actually that's part of what my endgame party comp is going to look like. Lava Man only has one more breed to do, and then it's going to be an extremely powerful defensive monster. We'll be able to do that very well. What it just did. Guardian. This was a nice chunk of experience points, even for a strong monster like Octagon. This will hopefully get it to level 10. Hopefully. No, that one. <laughs> too much, too much experience. Okay, let's go. Get, go, 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 go. Alright, making progress. We're doing alright. Alright, cool. Okay. And... I'm just pulling up my notes here. doing next I think I am going to continue breeding monsters but I just need to do a couple more things first Oh, I need to go to Sky for Sirloins. That's what it is. So I am going to breed that monster, actually. Okay. Um, duh, and... Okay. So. Noble is... Venus. On. Okay, so this monster, which we're going to be seeing the name of in just a few moments, so we'll go ahead and mark it. Octoraid. 
Uh oh. Oops, sorry about that. How's it going? He's Jack. And today... I'll, I'm gonna stop myself right there. Stop right there. No more of that. Okay. And... I do actually have to swap out... Um, the trumpeter for uh, Dead Noble. Okay. Buy more sirloins. Actually, I just realized what the actual stopping point of this episode, hopefully, will be. Which is, before I like to do the third rival fight in the final boss, uh, excuse me, I like to do a very long grind segment. And I do mean a very, very long grind segment. The downside is, it's a long grind segment, it's very boring. The upside is, it's probably the only one that I will ever need to do. And I mean that. And that will take place once I get the... Oh my god, I forgot how expensive these were. We don't have access to 1,000s yet. Um, elf water? Do I need elf water that badly? I don't need elf water that badly. One more sir sirloin for safety. Okay. So that is hopefully the last 1,500 gold sirloin that we ever have to buy. But yeah, one really, really long grind segment, and we do that as soon as we have the final form of the monsters that we want. Each of our three monsters that we've been building along this whole time has exactly one more step of breeding to do. Okay, so... This is Lava Man's Pheromone. Uh, the monsters that we're looking for are both boss trolls. The Misty Wings are complete pushovers. They can barely hurt you. Oh, is is Jack attacking? That's not good. Oh, it's because he's a foolish young child, and he hasn't gained enough int to realize he should not be doing that. Okay, well, I can't blame him. Octorade's attack growth is very good. Unfortunately, it is a very hard and annoying monster to make, as you just saw. Uh, yeah, doing this without Dumbo the elephant is actually a little bit of a pain in the ass. It's fine. Actually, we can't win this one. Our damage output's just not good enough. I'll try anyway, because I just saved. 
I'm not hopeful, though. You know, just once, I would love to have my Twin Hits monster move uh, earlier in the turn order than my Quad Hits monster. That would make me really happy. It, of course, will never happen. You know, Sandstorm? Go ahead and use Sandstorm. Hit the Chop Clown. Okay. Oof. Okay, well, the baby's dead. Don't shield the dragon, please. Okay, good. Come on, guy. Come on, dude. Ooh, beat is a good spell. Who is this? this is lava? Evil Slash, Guardian. I don't think this guy needs Evil Slash. He's going to be playing, like, the commander defensive role. Like, yes, good. Small A. And then we're going to pop back in for a heal. So that boss troll is going to be with Lava Man. And Dead Noble is going to be using its pheromone on Trumpeter's behalf. Actually, hold on. Can just can just go, I think. Yeah. No, there's no point. There's no point to doing that. Changed my mind, changed my mind. I was considering, like, breeding the Lava Man and Boss Troll now versus doing it after the Octorade has gotten to level t 10. There's no reason to do the first one before that second one. Just gonna keep going. Hopefully the baby lives this time. Oh, love it. Although, what I don't love is that it might uh, use Guardian. Again, it would be really great if, like, just once, just once, my Twin Hits user moved before my Quad Hits user. Or main attacker. I, I seriously do not think that it has happened a single time this entire series. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, go ahead and point it out. I'm not afraid to be wrong. It's just incredibly silly how little that that's been happening compared to how often it should be happening. say. Hmm. Join our team. Yes. Cool. So that's every monster that we need. We don't need to do any more recruitments. Recruitments are done. Oh. No. I wanted to heal. Incidentally, why hasn't it learned heal all yet? Is it not meeting the int requirement? That's the only thing I think it could be. And that, which in that case is very sad. Int 144, so it needs two more levels, but that's okay. 
And actually, that's important. Skill upgrades, like from heal to heal more to heal all, it doesn't matter which one of those you have at the time that you breed. You're, the baby is guaranteed to learn heal. And then whether or not it upgrades, fine, it doesn't matter at that point. Um, if it knows heal, the child will also learn heal. If it knows heal more, well, the child has to start with heal anyway, and so on. So the fact that the Lava Man hasn't hurt, learned heal all yet doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean a single thing. In terms of it being something that I have to worry about. Jeez, come on now. Cool, level 10. Good, we're done. So now I need to do a little bit of a balancing act. Because all three of my monsters are ready for upgrades now at the exact same time. So the question is, which one am I going to do first? Good question. I didn't think ahead that far. Um, okay, I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do Lava Man first. this. Gold Golem. Gold Golem is a very, very good monster. Uh, so the Gold Golem I would like to be Martian. Doesn't really matter but I'm going to change it now because I do not trust myself. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. I also need to pick someone up. So the reason that I did Lava Man first is because it was it had the worst offense. Um, I'm going to use my strong leveled up monsters basically while I can, is the idea here. I'm also running out of money. Hopefully that would be a problem. If it is, I can sell something, but... Ah, shoot, I forgot about the name. Um... What am I doing for names? Uh... Hmm. Shoot. I, again, I did not think I had this far. Come on, come on, think of something, think of something. I'm just gonna do what I did before. Uh... This is Dio. I, I'm i naming him Dio because this thing kind of vaguely looks like Do Zoardo if you just don't look at it. Just don't even, it's fine. So we're going to do this, we're going to get the gold golem to a decent level, then next we will upgrade Dead Noble into its final form. And then we'll do Trumpeter last. Uh, no. I just realized something and I need to leave. Nope, let me out. Let me out. 
Excuse me. Hello? Thank you. What I forgot was equipment. I want the cleric ring on Dio. Also, while I'm at it, When I next return to Great Log, I am going to go back to the uh, treasury to equip, or to retrieve the war ring and also to put the steel fang on the gold golem, I think is what I'm going to do. Did I save? <sighs> Always save again. Saving so fast in this game, that I really appreciate. And I have the muscle man memory for it down, like, instantly. I have the muscle memory for it down instantly doesn't make sense, but I hope you understand what I mean. It's going all right. Cover is the weaker form of Guardian. Cover allows you to choose one teammate. Guardian automatically covers both of your teammates. Massacre is bad. Ramming is bad. Those both... Massacre risks hurting your friends, which is like... Yo, what the fuck? And ramming always hurts yourself, which is like, okay, well then why bother? We'll do one more, and then we will upgrade. Uh, you guys can handle this one. Uh, we will upgrade Dead Noble into its final form. And I'm now remembering what I'm going to give that name. Which one I'm going to name that. What name I am going to give to that monster. And yes, it will be another JoJo reference. For those of you who don't know, Dio is a JoJo reference. Nice JoJo reference. I'm on the clock. I'm like, oh, I can see that I only have like seven minutes left. Let's go, let's go. At the very least, I will get the last monster finished. I will do my absolute best to have that happen. Dead Noble and Octoraid. So the Golem is Martian. We really need this one to be Venusian. And then with Trumpeter's final form, it doesn't matter. Because it doesn't have Pheromone, it doesn't need to worry about Pheromone. So I'm just going to hatch it without even checking. Night Rich, baby. Let's go. Extremely well-designed monster. Check that. Oh wait, I haven't hatched it yet. Well, whatever, you get the point. Now, of course, that was very inefficient, right? Because I could have just, like, hatched the first one freely and then matched it to the other instead of doing both swaps. But this is why I'm doing a speed walk. It's because I, I'm still not, I'm still not fully, like, with it, with it yet, you know? He doesn't have any of my money. Okay, good. You better not have any of my money. It's 
Let's see, that's everything, right? Check Dr. Raid, Gold Golem. This is Night Rich. This guy's name is... King Crimson. King Crimson is going to have the Witch Ring. War Ring. Oh! Oh! Beep! No, Cleric Ring on the Gold Golem makes more sense than Mage Ring. I don't know why I have it that way. Actually, my notes are inconsistent within each other. You know what? It's really, it's fine. Although, as I've said before, MP is strictly better than intelligence in basically every situation, so I'm going to save the cleric ring for now. You know, swap the rings around a little bit later. So let's just win like a fight or two and then hurry back to the breeding center. And then I will do the rest of the grinding mercifully offline. Oh wait, you have to fight now. Oops. No, consider it. definitely want beat. We do not want blaze air. No blazing. No hustle. The blaze spells are offensive magic. Offensive magic's uh, damage is capped and based entirely on enemy resistance. So it does not scale with your strength. It levels off extremely fast. Do not use it in most situations. There are a couple of spells that justify it. We don't have any of them. Eagle Eye is useless. Just walk around if you want to find treasure. Drax Slash is bad, and Aqua Cat is, is bad for the same reason, which is... Family specific attacks are useless. You fight too many different monsters of different types. Rob Dance is bad. Stealing MP is not very good. Okay. One more fight. I'll go a little bit over just so that I can show you guys the final form of uh, the Trumpeter. Actually, I know what I'll do. Blade D is bad. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to actually continue from there. But I am at least going to show you what I am going to do offline. And have it actually count towards the time total, just so that you can see it now and not have to be held in suspense until the next episode. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you what the trumpeter will become. For the grinding sake, I'm going to make sure that my other two monsters are at a reasonable level first. But like, if I had a little bit more time, this is what I would do. Trumpeter. Boss draw. Cool. And just so that we're ready, I will mark it. It is drum roll, please. King Leo, amazing! It's a big lion here. I'll show you. I'll show you their portraits. That's Gold Golem Dio. That's Night Rich King Crimson. 
And this is Kiglio, which is going to be named uh, K-Queen, Killer Queen, Yoshikage Kira, Jojo Pup Four. We love it, folks. Thanks for bearing with me as I continue to bumble around. This will become a really awesome speedrun, just like the All Superstar speedrun. I know it in my heart. This is going to take a lot more work to get there, but I'm going to do it, and I'm going to continue having a fun time with it like I've had today. So, see you next time. And I'll do the thing that I do.